So you've just done a deep clean of your home. Now, how are you going to maintain it? I'm going to answer that question here for you today. So sit back because I'm about to give you a total breakdown of how I maintain a clean home. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're going to be doing the power hour here in my house. So what the power hour is, is a list of tasks that I get done in one hour. Now this is not a deep clean, this is a maintenance clean. You're already going to want to start in a tidy home. So today is Monday and it's the day that I do my power hour. And on Sunday is when I do my home reset. So everything is already tidy and I just need to get in here and maintain some things. So follow along with me as we do these list of tasks. So for just a second, I want you to imagine that you're standing at your front door and you're waving goodbye to the house cleaning service that you just paid $200 to deep clean your home. You shut the door and you take a tour of your house to admire each room that has been deep cleaned from the ceiling all the way down to the floors. You reach down to double check those baseboards because surely something's been missed and you find that even those are pristine. You have gotten what you paid for and you are so happy. Now, I want you to imagine, how are you gonna maintain that deep clean? As nice as it would be to have a cleaning service come in on a weekly basis to maintain that $200 deep clean, it's really not realistic to the majority of us. We are our own home's deep cleaning service. We take time and effort to duplicate that $200 cleaning service. Now, don't shortchange your time as not being as valuable as money. Our time is very valuable, and I started this channel to help you maintain a clean and tidy home through very well thought out routines. For all of those who are following my channel, you probably already have a copy of my weekly cleaning schedule, and you've filled in your blank copy to fit your lifestyle. But if you're new here, I have a free printable to help you set your cleaning routines to maintain these areas in between deep cleaning. Over the years of my life, I have found routines to be essential to my well-being. I have two main categories, a routine to keep my house clean and a routine to keep my house tidy. And I'm going to talk about those here today. If you're looking for a luxurious smell for your bedding, this is it. It's pricey, but you only need a cap full. Now my washing machine holds 50 ounces of soap, so I add in a cap full that will be added into the measured soap the machine dispenses. I also like to use this to add a cap full into a bottle of water, and then I spray that to refresh my bedding and my curtains and things like that. This lint bin was a fabulous find on Amazon. It's got a nice big magnetic strip here on the back. See how big that is? And it sticks just right to the side of the um, washing machine. I'll link this and any of the other products that you see me using down in my description box. On our way back to the bedroom, let's stop and take a look in the courtyard. The weather is gorgeous here, so I have my doors and my windows open to air out the house. As you can see, I also have the three windows there in the hallway opened up. So, since you've been in this courtyard last, I've added a few pumpkins, and the plants that I've added have been thriving. It did take some time for the mums to begin to bloom, but I'm thankful that they actually lasted through the season. I do think that the tip of dunking the whole pot in the water is the key to keeping mums fresh for the season. Ooh. 
Okay, so here's the mixture that I was talking about with that Diva Glamour Swash. And I just mix it into one of these bottles and add some water. So it's just like a cap full um, into that whole bottle with some water. And I spray my pillows, my headboard, my curtains, any throw blankets, things like that. It really makes everything smell very good and it lasts a long time. I'm kind of new with apologies. Holding back, I got history. What you're seeing me do now is the second step that I do in my power hour and this is a quick dust. Now I'm just going around the house and I'm quickly swiping the dust off of the things onto the ground. This isn't a time that you're going to see me picking up things and dusting all the ornaments and decorations and cha-cha-chas and all that. I'm not doing any of that. I'm doing a very quick dust. You don't stick around, no. Okay, so let's keep talking about my cleaning and tidying routines. Now you would think that clean and tidy mean the same thing, but honestly it doesn't. You can have a tidy home, but on further inspection, notice that things are not clean. Just one look at the windows, baseboards, kitchen sink, toilets will prove this. Now on the flip side, you can have those areas clean, but have an untidy home. There's clothes on the floor, products lining the stairs waiting to be taken up, mail stacked up, kitchen table full of odds and ends, so on and so forth. So following my routines helps me to maintain these categories and it keeps all the chaos at bay. tabletop air purifier has really helped to keep the amount of dust and pet fur that accumulates over in this area of my home. Now once a week I get in there and I clean two removable screens. There is a larger more substantial um, filter that's in the machine and it needs to be swapped out on occasion but my machine is hooked up to my phone and it tells me when the filter needs to be replaced. So far I haven't had to replace the filter and it still says that I have quite a bit of time before needing to do so. What I find odd when I'm cleaning the filter is that the, um, the debris that I'm getting out of there feels slightly oily. I'm not real sure why it does that, but all I can say is this machine works and it has really helped to cut down on the amount of dust and fur that I have going on over in this area of the home. Front porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down. Everybody's business, 
why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute. Yeah. Hey, would you rather? So, all my routines start with deep cleaning. In that routine, I deep clean one zone of my home each week. I have seven tasks that has me cleaning everything from the ceiling all the way down to the floor. If you don't know what those tasks are, I'll link my seven task cleaning video at the end of this video for you to go see. Once I complete that deep clean, I immediately follow a set of tasks that I do to maintain that clean. The last thing I want is to see all this hard work destroyed in a matter of days. The first routine to maintain my deep clean is the one that you're watching now. This is the power hour. I call it that because I'm powering through my house, completing five tasks in an hour or less. Now this does not include the time that it's gonna to take to wash and dry your sheets. Now I do my power hour on Mondays. This is purposely following my Sunday reset where I tidy my home and I get everything reset back to baseline. As I said in the beginning of this video, you wanna do all your cleaning routines in an already tidy space meaning you want all your belongings back into their living spaces. This will greatly simplify cleaning, especially the power hour when you're only given one hour to complete five tasks. Okay, so now I'm going to use my e cloth glass and mirror system to clean and shine my glass and my mirrors. Now I'm going to quickly go around and take care of areas that need attention. Now this buffet always needs attention, so you're going to see me lifting things because this area gets really dusty and um, fingerprints and all that. But on the mirrors, you're only going to see me do the areas where there's actual handprints. I'm not going to do the whole mirrors. Remember, this is how I'm maintaining an already clean home. I go around and I'm just quickly wiping everything down just to give it back its shine. And I'm only doing the areas that need to be done. The kitchen and the bathrooms are already in my morning and evening routines. So I'm not going to be doing those areas here in my power hour. Could you do me a quick favor and would you please just take a quick second and head down to the comments and give me a red heart if this video is helpful to you. We thought that we were foolish, not that we were cruel enough to do it. Now I feel so stupid, don't you feel that too? So the dryer just went off and I'm going to go ahead and take the sheets out of the dryer and put them on the bed. Now these are not the set of sheets that you saw me take off the bed and put into the washing machine. These are my second set of sheets. I went ahead and I put them into the steam cycle of my dryer just so that I can get all the wrinkles out. Now you may be asking yourself, why did I even put that glamorous wash into the washing machine? Because it will most likely not smell like that once I put the sheets on the bed next week. But honestly, it does last that long. So, and, and then especially once I put it into the dryer and I warm it back up, the smell releases again. So don't worry about that. That glamorous wash lasts a long time. As you can see, I lift the foot of the bed. That way it makes it easier for me to be able to fit the sheets in between the bed and the mattress. So tell me what are we? You know that I hate this game. You apologize. Always say that you're sorry. But why does it feel the same? 
It's always a laughing matter watching me put the head of this sheet onto the bed. Something with the split in the bed, it just makes it more difficult, but I still really love the mattress. So let's go ahead and finish up our conversation on the routines that I use to keep my house clean in between the deep cleaning. And then we're going to go on and we're going to move into the routines that I use to keep my house tidy. So the power hour is done one day a week, but your house is still going to need attention if you want it to stay clean in between those deep cleanings. So in my morning and evening routines, I've added tasks in there that will keep your kitchen, bathrooms, and floors clean. These are the main areas of our home that needs the most daily attention. As you know, these areas can quickly get pooped up if neglected for a day or two. You apologize, always say that you're sorry, but why does it feel the same inside now? I know that this is traditionally a room spray, but I love spraying it on my comforter. It just smells so good. I've mentioned it before. I got it from Target and it's a very masculine smell. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a quick vacuum of my entire house. Again, this isn't the time that you're really getting close to the baseboards or anything like that. You're doing the walking areas of your home and just quickly going over everything. Alright, so I've completed all the tasks here in the master bedroom. So the room is totally complete now. I'd like to go ahead and shut the door. That way I'm not tempted to go back in there and fuss with anything else. It's complete. It's like the check mark on the paper. So now we're going to go on and we'll continue vacuuming the rest of the house. We go to the Jersey. Your eyes say I'll be worried You said it was nothing But I know you'll get buried The sorrow of us The sorrow of us How did we end up here? We used to laugh so hard When did we stop loving, babe? Too far. We don't 
All right, so let's talk about the routines that I use to keep my house tidy. First of all, it's always easier to keep a tidy space if it's first decluttered and organized. Now, if you need help in this area, I also have a free printable for that. And I have a playlist of videos of my six month declutter and organize challenge. In those videos, we break down our spaces into bite-sized pieces so that we don't become overwhelmed. You're certainly welcome to work quicker if you're ready to do that, or you can go ahead and break it up into these bite-sized pieces. Now, if you would like a copy of that printable, go ahead and shoot me an email letting me know that you need the declutter printable. And if you want to see the videos that go along with the checklist, I will link that playlist down in my description box. It will be labeled six month declutter and organize challenge. Okay. So to keep my house tidy, I have tasks added into my morning and evening routines. Now, when I was home with kids, I also followed an afternoon routine, which basically reset my home before I started dinner. This worked out great because it helped take time off of my evening routine. All right, so my final cleaning task, with the exception of taking out the trash, is to quickly mop the main areas of my home. I like to use my e-cloth mop to do this. It's just so much more convenient than pulling out the mop bucket in the mop. In my spray bottle that you see me using is a full bottle of water with just a little bit of powder tied in it. Now I do this for two reasons. Number one, I really like the smell. And then number two, which is the most important reason, is that if you see my floors, they're not real glossy. They're kind of a matte finish. So the e-cloth doesn't stay wet long enough um, to do a good clean. I have to either go put it under the sink and keep wetting it, or I can use this spray bottle. So I choose to use the spray bottle. Then you ask me for my IG, send a little fire, say you know what I mean, no I do. All right, so my final routine that I use to help keep my house tidy is the Sunday reset. Now that is not on the weekly cleaning schedule because basically I'm just going into each room and I'm resetting it back to its baseline. Now one thing that I have found that's helpful is if you go ahead and you take a picture of what that room looks like when it's at its baseline, when it feels the best to you. Go ahead and pull that picture up and compare it. That way you can get in there and you can get that room quickly back to its baseline. As you can see, all these routines are gonna help you to keep your house clean and tidy without overstressing yourself trying to tidy the house once a week or by living in chaos in between deep cleaning. All right, so we have overnight guests coming tonight and I'm making a soup for dinner. So I'm gonna take you into the kitchen and we're gonna make this together. I'm making the avocado chicken soup with lime and cilantro. This is a very light soup and it's perfect for somebody who's been traveling and needs something a little healthier and lighter than the fast food restaurants that they've been going to on their way here. My husband and I really enjoy this dinner. 
we enjoy it so much that we have it like once or twice a month. And my three-year-old Lyndon, she loves this dinner and asks me to make it all the time. So I'm gonna link this recipe below for you. Now, I've shared with you guys before that the majority of my dinner recipes come from an app called Meal Lime. Typically, I have it set for two servings since it's just my husband and I, but tonight I went ahead and I set the app to show me a recipe for six servings. Before I start cooking, I try to go ahead and prep all the um, things that need to be cut and chopped and minced and all that, and I just go ahead and put them in individual bowls. It's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, well I'm lost here with you lost in the room. Did you know that there's a handy tool to get the seeds out of the center of jalapenos? Yeah, I didn't know either until one of you told me. When I bought this tool, I assumed that it was a vegetable peeler, but certainly it did not work like a vegetable peeler. When I asked my viewers, what the heck is this thing? One of you guys told me it's to help remove the seeds out of the center of jalapenos and other things. Now with this recipe, you can certainly add in some of those seeds into the broth if you're wanting a little bit more of a kick, but I'm taking everything out because one of the guests that's gonna be dining with us doesn't enjoy spicy things. So the recipe calls for you to um, mince these peppers. However, I actually like them chopped because I really like the flavor of the bite of them. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop these ones. Okay, so the recipe calls for six tomatoes. Now I have one that's on the other counter that I got from Whole Foods. Um, these other ones I got um, from my HEB, which is a local um, supermarket. Anyway, you're gonna see the one from Whole Foods. It's been sitting a little bit longer. It has sprouts growing inside of the tomato. It is so weird. I've never seen anything like that. So. Um, it's probably what you get if you're buying um, organic, which we should be buying if we can. So um, the other tomatoes are not organic. And then the one that I got from Whole Foods, it's been sitting a little bit too long, has sprouts growing in it. Super odd. At first I thought there were little worms in there. It's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, well I'm lost here with All right, so it calls for six cloves of minced um, garlic. I like to go ahead and use the one that's in the jar when I can. Um, and with the jar one, a half a teaspoon is equivalent to approximately one clove of garlic.
you'll see that I'm constantly cleaning as I'm cooking. Um, I try not to have too many dishes left over from cooking because once you finish eating, you really don't want to go and clean a bunch of dishes. So I try to clean as I'm going. Alright, while that continues to sit in the pot and saute, I'm going to go ahead and wash up my cilantro and then I'm going to chop some up. Now, before you chop it up, you want to remove the leaves from the stems. The stems are um, kind of woody and you really want to get rid of those. So it's a little tedious, but if you can remove as much of the stem as possible, it works out great. this will actually go into the soup and then the other half um, you use as a garnish for the top of the soup once you um, put it in the bowls. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pour in um, 72 ounces of chicken or veggie stock because you don't have to have the chicken in this if you don't want to. If you just want to have it a vegetable soup you're more than welcome just to omit the chicken or some people don't enjoy chicken stock and they would rather have vegetable stock but we're going to go ahead and put the chicken stock in here. All right, so now I'm going to use um, two chicken breasts. Um, I go ahead and I fillet it down the center just to make it a little thinner and easier to cook. Um, plus, you just want bite-sized um, chicken bits into the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this up into um, little bite-sized pieces. kind of simple kind of wishful about things and you're kind of simple but like a pistol you fire sometimes you get under my skin like a lover and sometimes you don't want to come back because you'd rather stay. now i'm going to go ahead and add in the spices um it's three-fourths teaspoon of cumin three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and then you're gonna just put um, pepper to taste. About the drunk bites, bragging and the glory. You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell, I get it. Oh, I'm so tired of hearing all your stories about your rich friends traveling in Mercedes. You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about Okay, so while that's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and cut up three limes. Now, one of the limes I'm going to go ahead and have because that's going to be squeezed right into the pot of soup. And then the other ones will be served alongside of your soup bowl. All 
right, so finally I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the avocados. Now, I like to get an uh, avocado that's a little more firm for this recipe, um, so that way it doesn't like melt into the um, hot liquid. Now, if you want your um, recipe to little, be a little bit more creamy, then I guess go ahead and get a softer avocado. But I like to use a little bit firmer avocado so that it has a little bit of a bite when you put it into your soup. Today I'm going to be using my new black bowls to put the soup into. Now let me give you a history on this black dishware. Last year I bought the black plates to go with my Thanksgiving Day table setting. And ever since then I wish that I would have picked up a second set. And ever since then I've been looking at TJ Maxx for another set and they haven't had them. However, I was able to Google the name brand that's on the bottom of the plate and sure enough they had them on Amazon. So I snagged up not only the plates, but I got the whole set. Now I love the flat black color, and I also like the amount of um, flat space that's at the bottom of the plate. But what really drew me to these plates is the double ring on the edges. It really sets them off from the other black plates that I've been looking at. These are solid stoneware, and they're both microwave and dishwasher safe. Now, if you've been looking for black dishes, or would like to take a better look at these ones, I'm gonna go ahead and add a link down in my description box for you. All right, so now it's time for me to get everything cleaned up before I dish the soup. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you watch this video all the way through to the end, please leave me a heart down in the comments letting me know. I want you to know how much I appreciate you for taking time to watch my videos. I really strive to bring you information in these videos and I think that you're noticing that. I love chatting with all of you down in the comments because each of you are very special to me. Don't forget to email me if you need a copy of the weekly cleaning schedule, and I'm going to leave this video for you to go watch next. I'll see you again next Sunday. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.